There's one. Shoot. You sure that's a ball? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you are a brave kidney. man right now. Scalpel right next oh, to your no. set. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, y'all ready? Hey, you found He's it? He's gonna jump. So to start off tonight, we invited you guys over for a lovely meal. We always eat really well. Yes, yeah. delicious. We Showing see turns. Off. We gotta show up every time. Yeah. I don't know. We eat really well. It doesn't matter whose house it's at. We do a good job. So before we ate, we had a little business to take care of. We had to castrate one of our co-owned pigs. We got our little pair of piglets under some unique circumstances because one of the duo was originally a breeder pig and it's a cooney cooney and they're registered and so the woman who owns them she has i guess some strict policy she has to follow since they are registered and she is not allowed to sell us a uncastrated pig that will be a feeder pig and not a breeder pig and since you ideally want to get pigs in pairs that's something we learned you can't just get one you need to um and she only had one feeder pig left she said, well, I'll let you take the breeder pig, but you have to show proof that you castrated the pig. So we did a little bit of research. We watched some videos. I nominated myself because there's a scalpel involved to be the one to make the cuts. And Robert and Ricky, um, they helped me out and held them down, and we did it. Is that okay, Robert? I'm on the team, too. You don't smell very good. He's a pig. I've never touched a pig before. Where did they like go? This. Like literally they're just. Do we have the right one? Wait, there's one. <laughs> there it is. There's one. And it really, I mean, I felt bad for the poor I had to guy. change clothes afterwards, but wait. Yeah, <laughs> so Robert, Robert was, had, had some things on him. He pooped on you twice <laughs> and peed. <laughs> <laughs> agitation in that animal Aww. and you felt it yeah, yeah so we started out holding him up in the air and then we ended up putting him on the ground like on his back in between yeah my legs i held his rear, rear feet ricky held his other feet and then you yeah because my biggest thing was i was just like don't let him move because i didn't want to accidentally cut something i wasn't supposed to i wanted to be able to be like as gentle as possible which i was and it was really pretty interesting to me i expected it to bleed more like even in the videos we watched to learn i expected more blood so i don't know not did you did it feel like a lot of blood to you no no, no it wasn't bad yeah it's just from the dude's perspective seeing yeah. it down right in front of your face it was um like, i mean well and he like he sucked his balls up <laughs> we could not find them and in fact i was like 
Do I don't see one? any of because. Do we have the wrong pig? We have two pigs, and one of them's castrated, and the other's not. Yeah, the other one's a male too, and so. It took us like three or four yeah. minutes well, to find Well, and here's it. the thing. It's not because we didn't know what we were doing. Yesterday, before we did this in preparation, Robert and I held him and felt for them to make sure like I knew where I was going and what we were doing. And so I had felt both of them. And so for me to go and feel, and we're all like, where are the balls? Like literally he sucked his balls. <laughs> Do you think he was spending the whole time between yesterday and today? Because you guys ran through like a room. He was like, nope, I already know what's happening. Well, because I picked they him up. Right I, picked, I picked him up a few times just to like practice how I was going to hold him. And so <laughs> I think he understands. He, he was, was like, like nope. He's out there doing kegels. <laughs> <laughs> his little I mean, that him, was like, the hardest part. Yes, it's coming. That's right. He's Let's like, no, I've been through this before. I'll tell you about it. That was the hardest part, finding those little fellas and holding them down in place. So anyways, he did well. He was Successful. he was happy eating right away. Yeah. As soon as we put him back. And we gave him was, dinner and he was... He was happy. He was fine. It. We all, I think, felt a little worse than he did even. So we came in and had a nice dinner. Cinnamon rolls to soften the blow. Sourdough. Because <laughs> what would cinnamon rolls be on a homestead if they weren't sourdough? Uh, all right, well, let's hop into it. Top 10 things we feel we need on a homestead. 